Okay, now there's several different types of clouds. I just want to reiterate first that all of these clouds aren't the only clouds. They're just the most commonly forming clouds. There's several different hybrids of all of these. I've listed a few. But one thing that's certain about every single cloud that you see in the sky is that they're going to have one of these Latin prefixes in them. Okay, so first we got zero. Zero clouds, CRS clouds. The prefix is zero. CRS clouds are always very high in the troposphere and they always have this kind of curly, wispy look to them. Okay, these are the kind of clouds that you see in the sky that kind of look like airplane trails. Okay, strato, flat, low, you have some middle strato clouds. Nimbo, there's many different types of nimbus clouds all over the troposphere. This just means that they uh, are rain bearing. Okay, and then you have cumulo. Okay. If you see this prefix, this typically means that it's very puffy. Okay, we're going to go through every single cloud. Like I said, they all have one of these prefixes or suffixes within them. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom. Okay, so imagine that you're on the floor, the surface level of the earth, the troposphere, the ground level of the troposphere. Let's say that we're at zero feet. Clouds can go quite high, several miles high. Okay, so the first set of clouds, you have stratus clouds, which are very flat and they hover very, very low, typically be under 6,000 feet. And you have cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds are the very uh, stereotypically looking clouds that are very big and white and puffy, okay? Like when you look up a cloud on the internet, it's almost always a cumulus cloud, okay? You also have stratocumulus clouds. It's a kind of a hybrid between the two. They're, they're very puffy, but they're also flat, okay? Next up, you have uh, alto cumulus. So alto cumulus clouds are puffy, like your typical cumulus cloud, but they are uh, they are situated in the middle part of the troposphere. Okay, so we're talking about 6,000 feet to roughly 18,000 feet up. You have alto cumulus clouds, like I said, very puffy, situated in the middle part of the troposphere. Okay, and then you have alto stratus clouds. Alto stratus clouds are like your typical stratus clouds, but they're situated in the middle part of the troposphere. Mid-level, flat. Um, now, you also have nimbus clouds. Remember what I said about nimbus? This is always rain-bearing. So every single one of these clouds have some kind of uh, nimbus variant. Okay, So you have uh, nim cumulonimbus, you know, uh, stratocumulus, altonimbus. Okay? This just means that it's that variation of that cloud, except it's rain bearing. Okay, so next we're gonna go up to cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are um, um, summarized by being very high in the atmosphere, in the troposphere, and they have this kind of curly shape to them. Okay, in Latin, the cirrus actually means curl. Okay, so your typical cirrus cloud is gonna be very, very high. It's gonna be at least 18,000 feet. Then you have zero cumulus clouds. Zero cumulus clouds are very puffy, but they're very small and wispy. Okay, so there's no distinction between different kinds of clouds. They're just kind of different variations of a couple of different uh, types that are all listed down here. Now, the most um, commonly known storm cloud, thunderstorm cloud, is called cumulonimbus cloud. This is a cumulus cloud, so it's very puffy, but it's a nimbus cloud, so it's it's highly rain bearing. Okay, this is when you have a uh, this is your typical thunderstorm cloud. Okay, so you can see that it goes from the bottom of the troposphere nearly to the top. Okay, this is because cumulus clouds. So this is the first stage of a cumulonimbus cloud. Okay, this is because cumulus clouds are made tall because of uh, buoyant forces bringing up warm air that contains moisture so the cloud kind of gets built on itself like a stack of Legos, okay? This doesn't happen with a stratus cloud or the cirrus cloud unless you're talking about a zero cumulus cloud, okay? So, like I said, clouds vary from the ground level of the earth to the high portions of the troposphere and they range in a whole bunch of different types. They all have these four prefixes or suffixes in them, okay, and how these um, Latin roots are combined will determine what the cloud will look like and how it's formed in the first place, what kind of precipitation it's going to bring, 
this all down here is going to bring uh, wet precipitation, whereas up here, your cirrus clouds is very cold. Okay, so these wispy kind of clouds, whether they be normal cirrus clouds or zero cumulus clouds, are going to contain a lot of ice crystals. Okay, thanks guys.